what you fish for. What you fish for. Oh, we're on a nice bourbon bite today. Holy. And look at this pig walleye. On, on. Let's go! Yes! Yes! Oh, got cranked. We're five minutes into fishing. A legit five minutes. Yeah, baby! Yes, baby! Let's go! Back the camera up. There's not a half bad burbot at all. Not a half bad burbot. It is a fat. Let's all get out. Oh boy. First bourbon in years. Okay, well. I'm gonna work on getting this hook out and then I'll put it in the live one. I'll show you to you guys after that. So, here's this big bourbon. Let's say it's not a monster by all means, but it's not half bad. So, I'm gonna try to weigh it here. If I can actually get it up on the ice. Oh boy. That's tight. It was already zeroed. Come in. Oh, you can't even see the weight. Oops, I didn't turn it on. That was a fail there. Okay, okay now it's zeroed. Okay, here we go. Okay, it says it's about five point. Oh my goodness. Here, come close. It says it's eight pounds, 8.2 pounds. I definitely believe that. It's only about 26 inches, but it is so thick. So there we go. Nice bourbon. I gotta get, oh, it's, it's clamped with milk on there. Okay. Turn the scale off. Six scale. Love these scales. Rapala scales, 60 bucks. Great scales. Okay, so I let that fish go. Took out the iFish Pro, put in a jaw jacker. iFish Pro is in about 15 feet. I'm in about 18, 19 feet. That jaw jacker's in 23. So I just switched. 
my main hole I'm gonna be jigging is in 18, 19 feet, and then I tried in shallow. I'm putting it out deeper now. And um, what happened with that bird was I was just jigging, and I saw this white fish probably two or three feet off the bottom. I saw the top of it on my camera. It's on the very top of my screen, and then I'm just I just keep jigging, and this bird just comes in and it just comes up nice and slow, boom. And yeah, I set the hook. Heavy fish. I I I uh. I usually fish, let those fish fight a little bit more. I guess I was excited and I didn't think it was that big. I fought that fish like as a two or two to four pound bird, but not an eight pound bird of it. But you know what? I caught it and I'm super happy. So um, now I'm gonna get back to fishing. It's probably been about 20 minutes since I caught that fish and I've just been kind of crazy. Just gonna have a little lunch and then I'm gonna get back to jigging. And then also, so I want to catch another big one. Can't believe my first bourbon in six years. Oh, two bourbons. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Fish on. Two on the screen. I think it's at the hole. Hard to tell though. Good fish, I'll tell you that. There we go, now it's at the hole. Wow, this thing's fighting hard. Look at that drag. So I'm running 10 pound mono. And that one ounce PK spoon and a floral liter. I don't think you need a liter for a bird bit, but have one on. And man, these things are just feisty. Oh, fighting like a pig. Fighting so hard. Second bourbon of the day. Just gonna see how I get it unhooked. Right, real quick here. Hooks out. Oh, we're on a nice bourbon bite today. Holy, another big it. Another good bourbon. I was not even really paying attention, and this nice fish came in. I'm gonna grab the weigh scale, I'm gonna weigh this fish, and then I'm gonna let it go. So I'm just gonna put it in the live well quick, warm up my hands, and then weigh it and let it go. So I'm just gonna put it in the live well, and then I'll get, get back to ya. Okay, let's weigh this thing. This one is, uh, okay, four and a half. So that's a nice bird bit. Oh no, it's actually five and a half. It takes a second to get going here. Oh no, I'm just gonna wait. Just gotta hold it, let it get. Okay, here we go. Just gonna hold it like this. 6.98. 6.98. Yeah, so about seven pounds. That's a beauty fish. Okay. Just gonna lift this thing. You don't get to do this in Saskatchewan because when you catch walleye and pike, they got big teeth, but you can do it around here, so. Nobody around us, that's a great thing about today. Nobody really close. I don't know if anybody knows there's big burbots here, but there is. There it goes. Two burbots. Let's go. I'm gonna go sit in the truck and warm up. I am freezing. And then we'll get back to fishing.
stay tuned. I'm having such a great day, and I hope you enjoy this video as much as I am enjoying making this video. Let's warm up. Okay, so I'm gonna start packing up. I am really cold. I fish in sweatpants all day. It worked out good for a while, but I'm getting cold. I've gotta go back to the city tonight. I'm hopefully gonna be able to now edit this video maybe tomorrow. Today's Saturday, February, I think it's the 27th. Six days ago, I caught that 12 pound walleye. And today I caught a seven and an eight, a seven pound burbot and an eight point two pound burbot. So that was a great day. Um, I'm gonna start packing up. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I think I talked about everything I was using, what I was doing out there. It was about forty feet. I could throw a stone and I'd be in forty feet of water. And right there, right up there is twelve feet of water. I'm in nineteen feet of water. And I caught two burbot today. Um, I think maybe they moved up shallower or moved down deeper. I'm not sure. But I guess I'll keep learning that. And hopefully I'll be back out here to make another burbot video. So thank you so much for watching. Um, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And just remember, play hard, work harder, fish harder. I'll see you guys in the next episode of Prairie Boy Fishing. See you guys.